right, buckle in, everybody, because today we're watching more Vinland Saga, and I can already tell that this season's gonna be an existential one just like the first. But welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and today we have Ket Kettle's Farm. I'm guessing this is the sort of farm that Anar arrived on at the end of the last one, where he met Thorfinn. And I have a feeling that his and Thorfinn's friendship is going to be a big driving factor in this season. But I'm also curious how the others that well, were in the end of the season one finale will come into play because it did tease like two other characters. I don't even remember what they look like, but I'm going to try to challenge myself to guess whenever they pop up because one was like camping on a beach or something and the other was like hiking in the mountains. I really don't remember. The only reason I was able to remember Anor is because he ended up exactly where they showed him on that boat in the ocean, like coming and looking out in this very specific scene. So we'll see if I can remember the others. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub and let's get started. Nobody told me I wasn't wearing my headband. <laughs> I declare it. Dude. Have things not gotten better? Bro, what has happened? Did he never go see his mom and his sister? It's not a force. It already looks like one. It looks pretty, uh, pretty nice too. Oh. Wait, like the entire force? You're gonna like, cut it all down? Oh my gosh. And reap the harvest. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. You'll buy yourselves back. Huh. Like buy his freedom. Earn your freedom yourselves the right way. I mean, they should just be free in general. They're human beings. Three years. So how did Thorfinn end up as a slave? Where is Leif Erikson? Nah, something really bad had to have happened on their way home. Pater. Dude, no wonder Thorfinn looks so depressed. He's just working for his freedom. Look at him, man! My boy looks so empty! Nah, ask what kind of man he is. He looks so sad. <laughs> He's like, is this just a common place here? To, to buy yourself? Ask him when the last time he went there. Dude, to clear that entire forest, yeah, it would take three years. Do we get like an overhead shot? How much they have to clear? Brother. Brother. What do you mean there's still a lot left? He said three years. Well, that's three years, including like harvesting, like laying the foundation for the farm. Oh my gosh. That is backbreaking work, too. Just chopping at trees all day. And he has no experience either. Man, I'm cheering for ANR so hard, too. That's true. Can't rush this, though. <laughs> Perpendicular to the river. Ah. It's like a natural conveyor belt. Mm-hmm. Day one, baby. <laughs> oh, what do they get to eat? Like bread and water? Thorfinn's like, ah, you got a lot to learn, pal. <laughs> Dude, Anar has such a nice smile. That's lunch, isn't it? And he was eating it as they walked over. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Bro, he was he was picturing like an entire like boxed meal. That's for both of them? <laughs> First timer. Oh yeah, how <laughs> that's so gracious of you. Yeah, they're very different than the owner of the farm. But I mean, he's no different. He owns slaves. Oh no! Oh no! Nah, Thorfinn's gonna stop him. Mm-hmm. 
I just, I, I'm dying to know how he ended up here. Something really bad had to have happened to Leif Erikson. Like, there's no way he just chose to come here and be become a slave. Unless he just felt purposeless and had nowhere else to go. But it kind of seems that way right now. It took him a long time to say Iceland. He just does his work, no question. That is a big horse, too. They trust Thorfinn a lot, clearly. Even those guys backed off whenever Thor... I mean, not that, like, they respect Thorfinn, but, like, they know Thorfinn isn't gonna act out or anything. So I wonder how long he's actually been here. Bro, talk about backbreaking now. Oh, my gosh. And Aenor is, like, a buff dude. I just want him to find out more about Thorfinn. We just don't know the, the purpose of their friendship yet. <laughs> Starting today, you're friends. Dude, yeah, every day ends like this. Hungry, sick, just the uh, whole body hurts. I cannot imagine. Yeah, I was gonna say, if those guys are technically, yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone higher on the food chain. Bro! Maybe Anor's purpose is to give Thorfinn purpose again. Oh. He sounds like he's tried before. Oh, there he is. He's gonna tell him for sure. Oh no. Like I said, I feel like he speaks from experience. Oh. A love interest? Oh, is that like his daughter? But she kind of looked at him a certain way too. He ain't going to cause any trouble now. I think it is just like, because she has very similar hair to him. It's all it takes. One single look. That Thorfinn's even a little curious. <laughs> He's like, why didn't you? We're seeing developments on this farm. I, I'm very curious as to how things will go. So this is a like a done, like a completed field and it, after he had bought it from them. And he just gets more slaves to harvest. Oh, he works out on that one too. I guess because he bought it too. I mean, dude, like slave owner's a slave owner, but at least he allows them to buy their freedom and he works out there. They got like families and stuff. It's like a community? Yeah, all their families and kids. Huh. I can't get over how he looks like, like an old Thorfinn. Yeah, this is like a community. That's what I thought was strange. Yeah. Omar. Uh, Omar looks like trouble, bro. He looks like he vibes for battle. He's got a sword and everything on his back. He's like bored of like the farm life. Yeah, he's gonna cause trouble for sure. His son. I was gonna say he looked a little bit like him. And that's how he's able to get away with acting out. Thought I'd help out for once. Dang! He will not be. No, I guarantee it. Yeah. Omar. He's gonna say a grown man should be like a, a fighter, yeah. Oh. Embarrassing! <laughs> like how she's asking Anar. She said, I'll use this too. Probably like to. Gonna make a name for myself with a sword. Omar, that's very Vinland Saga season one of you, buddy. Ah. He's only 17, though, he said. He has big dreams being a fighter. Wait, is, who is that? That's not the girl that Anar was looking at, right? No. Oh, he missed. Can't even hit a moth. Uh, actually, that'd be really hard. Sir. Is she a slave? King Harald will be calling for reinforcements. Wait. 
Wait, what? Canoe's brother? Bro! Bro! Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! They're getting round. No, bro. No. Oh, my, I'm clutching my pearls. I was going to say he wants. Yeah, he wants to end up like owner of the farm, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hell no, bro. Where is he going? Already done. Penniless tenant farmers. Kettle's family. Bro, that was. Dude, they're getting around to start. Bro! Oh my gosh. Dude, the crazy part is, I feel like in the time where like families owning parts of land, that was probably really common, which is horrifying. He's throwing a fit. Oh no, he's gonna get wasted now. Oh, something bad gonna happen. Well, they're stepping on the wheat. But he actually seemed to care that they were too. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Dude, I'm just so guarded with this show now. I always expect the worst. Or maybe he will just talk to them about his troubles. Oh, okay. I feel like they're going to get in trouble for trampling on the wheat, though. And it's going to come up. They just straight up ran through it. They're beds. Ah, I feel like this might elicit a response. Yep. Oh, no. He's giving it. He's opening up to him. boy. Now, maybe Thorfinn might in response. That's all I want. I just need to know what happened. So the first time it happened, he was insanely young. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that had to have been like a decade later then. Just listening. Oh. Bro, that was like the first village that he saw. Ask a lot in all them pillage, I'm pretty sure. He's like, yeah, they, they just did that commonly and I just watched. Oh man, I mean, at least we get a little bit of, of info in this one, but still like, he has to open up to him. I mean, he doesn't have to, but I want him to because either something went really wrong with, with Leif on the way back to Iceland because, or he just never even tried to go back. Like that's how bad Asgard's death messed him up. Like he never even attempted to go find his mom and sister. And I'm honestly 50, it could literally be 50, 50. I genuinely don't know which one is more probable because we never even saw his reaction to everything except for like how torn up he was as it happened. And as we saw sort of the comparison between Asgard's death and, and Thor's death. So I don't know, maybe that was it. Maybe he just refused to go back home, ran off, and then just became a slave because he felt like there was nothing else for him in this world. Asgard's sort of character arc gave him, uh, or made him realize that nothing mattered and that he was maybe too far gone like he was. I don't know. No. But I really like how Anar's character is sort of a driving factor in finding out more slowly about Thorfinn. I love this storytelling effect of character has reached certain point and we have to find out how they got there because it keeps me guessing. It's not like we're just picking up where season one left off. We're going away later on. But I am also interested in this development with what seems like, is it Ketil, like the the daughter of the, the farm owner and how it's sort of planted that little seed too and also developing Oma are too and sort of i think starting his own little character arc i don't know if i'm supposed to root for him or not but it seems like he has decent intentions he's just like people from from thorfinn's village in iceland whenever he originally left how all of them were these young men gung-ho to become warriors it was just the dream i guess and he's so young and not sort of um poisoned yet by like actual war actual fighting actual death surrounding him he's grown up on this peaceful farm so i'm curious to see how all of these characters develop and how Thorfinn will be at the sort of like the heart of it all. But guys, that's been it for my reaction to Kettle's farm. Do drop a like on this one if you haven't already and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.